a con video tutorial on lead quizzes three website pop-up configuration now in this video i'm going to show you how you can um, trigger website pop-up content on specific pages on your website i'm also going to show you how you can exclude website pop-up content from some pages on your website all right now just like before do not forget before you can get into any of this ensure that you have your lead quizzes embed and tracking code embedded on all the pages on, on your website where you want website pop-up contents to be triggered on all right now if you haven't done this yet you can find step-by-step -step guides in our help center for different websites now just go to help.leadquizzes.com and you'll see step-by-step -step guides in there all right now let's get into it so you head back to your lead quizzes three account um you click on the share sign or the share icon then you click on website pop-up just like before so in the previous video i showed you how you can trigger on all pages um where you have your embed and tracking code installed i also showed you how you can select the various devices now in this video i'm going to show you how you can trigger on specific pages on your websites where you have your embed and tracking code installed all right now to do that you first of all have to select the match type then you impute the or you specify the exact url all right now for match types we have different types we have the simple match type exacts match the starts with ends with and the contains all right now the simple match type does the default match type and it's used to target um, a page on your website um ignoring any query string or fragments all right now this particular match type will be correct if the url part in which your vista is on matches the url um parts in which you specify in here all right so that's the simple match the url parts in which your visitor is on have to match the um, url which you specify here and it ignores query strings fragments or protocols all right now for the exact match type this particular match type will be correct if the url parts in which your visitor is on matches exactly the one you specified all right now it takes into account the query string it takes into account the fragments and also the protocol so unlike the simple match that ignores all this the exact match has to be exact okay now for the start suite um this particular match type will be correct if the url of this is on starts exactly um as you specified in here all right and that also includes the protocol all right, so it just looks for the start of your URL. Now for the end width, similar to the start width, but this looks at the end of your URL. All right, so for this particular match type, um, the match will be correct if the URL of Vista is on, ends exactly as you specified. And finally, we have the contains. All right, now this particular match type will be correct if the URL part in which your Vista is on contains the text in which you specify right here in this box. Okay, now I'm just gonna delve into um, showing you how that looks like. So for the simple match, I'm gonna use the contact page of my blog sites because we're trying to trigger on specific pages and I have my embedded code embedded on all the pages on my blog sites. So I want this, um, website pop-up contents to only trigger on the contact page. So I save that. Um, so I have to include www. That's okay. So I save that. And just like before, we'll leave everything in default. So I head back to my blog site. So I go to the home page. I click on that. Now we shouldn't see a website pop-up because we specified that we want our website pop-up contents to only trigger on the contact page. All right, so home page. And there you have it, no website pop-up. All right, now if I go to the contact page and I click on that, you have the website pop-up in there. All right, now don't forget we said it ignores query strings and fragments. All right, so I'll just show you quickly. So let me just add 
a string in here. And so my website pop up to be displayed because it ignores all that. All right. So that's for the simple match. Now I'm going to close this. I'm going to head back to our lead quizzes three settings. I'm going to switch this to exact match. And it's still on the contact page in our blog site. So I'm going to save it. And just like before, I'll leave everything in its default and I'll head back. Now, what did we say? We said we wanted to pop up in our contact page. And there you have it. But unlike the simple match, the exact match takes into consideration query strings and fragments. All right, so I'm just going to show you. So if I impute the same string in which I had before, so there we have it. I'm going to get a match. It takes into consideration this query string. The simple match ignores it, okay? As well as fragments and protocols, and there you have it. Now let's head back to our targeting options. Let's see our match types. Let's see what the start width. All right. So start width, like we said, it looks for the URL part from the start. All right. So I'm going to do it quizzes dot blog slash 2018. All right. So I have two pages on my website that have 2018 included in their URL. All right, so if I go to the home page, the home page doesn't start with that. So I shouldn't be able to see my website pop up. All right, and there you have it. There's nothing. But on the embed page and on the journey begins, I have 2018 included in the URL. So I'm going to click on the embed with this embed page. So we should have our URL our website pop-up displayed. And there you have it. And that's because it has, it contains this URL. So it starts with this, all right? It doesn't take into account the rest of that. And likewise, if I go to the second page, which is Johnny Begins, which contains All right, so this page contains 2018 likewise. So I should be able to see my website contents and there you have it. And that's because it contains 2018. So I'm just gonna close this out. Now if I go to contact, let me just show you that it's not gonna pop up because it doesn't start with the URL which I specified in my settings. And there you have it, no website pop up. All right, so let's head back in there, targeting options. Let's go to end suite. So end suite looks for the end. So I'm just going to say contact. I'm going to close this. I'm going to save it. So right now, I'm only targeting the contact page. Right, so I'm going to leave everything else in default. I'm going to head back to my blog site. So I'm going to go to the home page, first of all. So we don't expect to see a website pop up. And there you have it. Nothing shows up. So we go to the contact page. And there you have our our website pop-up content, all right? Now let's head back to our targeting options. Let's look at the last match type, which is contains. So contains, I'm just gonna say contains 2018. So you're just gonna look for this specified URL, which is 2018, and it's gonna pull out your website pop up on all the pages that has that. 
All right, so contact, let me go to the home page. The home page doesn't contain 2018, so we don't expect to see a website pop up. But if I go into the lead quizzes embed page, it contains 2018, so we should have our website pop up content displayed. And there you have it. All right. So I'm just going to quickly close this out, head back. So now we looked at all the match types. Okay. Now, next, we're going to move on to how you can exclude certain pages from getting the website pop up content displayed on them. Okay. Now, all you need to do is you set trigger on all pages, but don't show on the following pages. So for the match types, it's still the same explanation as we spoke about earlier. All right, so let's just say, for example, contains 2018. So what I specified here is I want this website pop up to trigger on all pages except those pages that contains 2018, all right? So we expect to see this on our home page, on our contact page, but we don't expect to see website pop up on the other pages, all right? So let's go to the home page, first of all. And there you have it, website pop up displayed. So I'm just gonna close this. Let me go to one of the pages that contains 2018. Now we don't expect to see a website pop up in here because we said we don't want pages that contain 2018 to display website pop up content. All right. And there you have it. All right. So basically I've shown you how you can trigger website pop-up on specific pages and how you can exclude website pop-up from certain pages on your website. Now in the next video below this, I'm going to show you how you can set the traffic percentage, all right, for your website. And then we're going to move on to how you can set the behaviors. Okay. So scroll down to see the next video.